Okay, you can see that I have on a shirt. That's all I needed people to know that I have on a shirt. Jesus. It's like 80 degrees outside, y'all. Like, I have no behavior. I'm about to go outside and act a whole way. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicola. If you are new, hey, how you doing? Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're old, you already know what it is. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video is a little bit interesting, um, as you can see from the title. Um, so my birthday was May 8th. Woo -woo. And I turned 23 and every year around my birthday I'm always reminiscing on things that I want to change and old bad behaviors and old funny stories and this story came to mind and I thought I'd share it with you guys so let's get to it so the year was 2008 I was really young guys <laughs> I did a lot of crazy stuff um, but I was in eighth grade now in eighth grade I want to say um, I had my best friends with me and we were like this and I felt like we ran that school well not necessarily ran that school we were just always all over the place we were anywhere we wanted to be we did whatever we wanted to do we went to class when we wanted to and still finessed good grades a good relationship with all the deans and we got away with murder so we always found ourselves in trouble because of that as well we had this like math class and um, I thought this guy was really cute. I thought Dennis was really, really cute. And um, so I asked um, a friend of mine if she can hook me up with Dennis because they're friends. You would think at this point that everything is about to go well, but it's about to take a whole different left. So about a month, two months, three months go by and I go to my girlfriend and I'm asking her, hey, what's going on with the hookup with Dennis? Because you know, nothing has happened by now and she hasn't even tried to like put us in the same space. Mind you, it's been like three months. She's like, oh, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. By the end of that same day, I found out that she ended up hooking up her sister with Dennis and she didn't tell me. So trifling. Like if you're my friend, you're supposed to at least hold it down and tell me like, yo, my sister likes Dennis. I'm gonna try and help her out. I don't wanna be put in a funky situation. At least tell me. Don't hook them up and then hide it from me for like three months. But whatever, three months had passed. They had been dating. I went home that day with my best friends. I went home later on that day and then um, I felt really revengeful. <laughs> so I said to myself, you know what? I want him. I want Dennis, so I'm gonna take him. Moment of silence. Um, this is where my childhood left the building. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? I still want Dennis. I'm still gonna try and get Dennis. I don't care, whatever, you know. So I make up this scheme to get Dennis and I start hanging around him a lot more. I start what I think is flirting. I start flirting with him a little bit more and I'm around him a lot more. And then somehow, some way, I got his number. Dennis and I spoke on the phone every single day. We hung out a lot more. And then one day we were hanging out in the staircase and the fateful happened. Dennis and I kiss. <laughs> Once that happened, it was it was a wrap. Dennis and I were boyfriend and girlfriend at that point, and he was still dating my friend's sister at the time. So at this point, he's dating the both of us. I know about the other girl, but she doesn't know about me. And it went on like that for some time. Now I know right now you're judging me, but just give me a moment to explain. I was young, you know, I thought I knew what I was doing and I thought I was strong and I was holding on to my man or whatever, so that's just how it ended up happening. Until one day I got really upset. Dennis and I were graduating and my friend's sister, who he's dating, she's a year younger than us, so she's a junior. Dennis and I had graduation rehearsal and it was also our little five month anniversary. No, 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 we all know that back in middle school, everybody counted month anniversaries. So you're not about to judge me right now. You're just supposed to accept this story and move on. It was our five month anniversary and he hadn't spoken to me all day. Like, he ignored me all day and turns out he was with the sister. And I'm like, it's our anniversary, kid. Like, why aren't you speaking to me? So I basically ignored him for the rest of the day and it really hit him and he got emotional and his friends were looking at me like, Yo, Nandy, what did you do to my son? He not working. Yo, Nandy, you got my son out here crying. Like, you need to really be with him. Like, come, come, come get him, man. Nandy, man, you can't do that to my boy. He really like you. That's literally what was happening all day, but I still didn't speak to him because he ignored me in the beginning of the day, so I was still upset. Um, we had graduation rehearsal and then I went on stage to sing the national anthem and I looked directly at him and I sung it and then I sung it the most in the most stoic way. I still killed it though. 
<laughs> but I sung it in the most stoic way and then I went back and stood with the chorus and I just kind of put my head down. And then he called me later on that day and he was like, I'm so sorry, I'm going to try, um, don't worry, I'm going to choose you, we're going to end up being together. I don't know what the hell I was doing back then, but let's continue on with the story. We graduate and it's still nothing. He still hasn't broken up with this girl and I'm like, yo, I am so tired. Like, I know I was the mistress at one point, but either I, it's either me or her. Like, I can't stay this long, man. One day, I went over to his house and this was the breaking point where he really made the decision. One day, I went over to his house and it was my best friend, me, the original friend who I asked to hook me up with Dennis, and Dennis and his friends. And we were all hanging out at Dennis's house. I wanted Dennis to walk me back to the bus stop because you know it's time to go and it's time for me and my best friends to go back to her house. So I'm like, hey, you wanna walk me to the bus stop? But because the sister was there, he felt kind of obligated to walk her to her bus stop, which was in an opposite direction. And in my mind, I'm like, I'm your girlfriend. Like you're supposed to walk me to the bus stop. You need to walk me. As soon as I sensed the slightest bit of hesitation in his answer, I didn't even give him a chance to explain because I already knew his decision. I was like, you know what, you good. And I just walked away. He kept like, he was running after me. He's like, Nandy, where are you going? I turned around, I was like, I'm done. I'm out of this. You can have her. Peace out. You can't even walk me to the bus stop. I don't even care. Peace. I'm out. Mic drop. I went home so angry and my best friends were with me. Now, this whole story is over like a course of like an entire school year. So all these things didn't happen right away. But you know, I'm just speeding it up for time purposes. So then I got home and um, I went home and I told my mom and I was so teary eyed. Now my mom at the time is like, this is probably some childish BS, but I'm gonna still listen to my daughter and love her up anyways. So my mom still like, you know, hugged me and made me feel better. And the next day, me and my mom were hanging out because she was trying to make me feel better from the day before. And he calls me, Dennis calls me. And Dennis says, before you hang up, I just want you to know that I broke up with so-and-so and I wanna be with you. Basically, he ended up choosing me because he felt as though yesterday when he realized I left, it was kind of too scary for him and he'd rather be with me than the other girl. So, moral of the story is, I got upset because my friend hooked up her sister with Dennis, so I ended up stealing Dennis in the long run. I don't condone stealing men, guys. I don't condone this at all. <laughs> oh, but you think that's it, but there's more. The gag is Dennis and I ended up staying together for about three years. So this actually went on well into high school. Um, so that's one of the things that I tell people. I feel like we ended up making the right decision and staying together. Even though we were really young, we ended up staying together for about three years. We had a lot of great memories. Even though we're not together, we're still cool. And um, yeah, so the story ends on a pretty decent note. Anyways, that's it guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to hear more crazy stories of mine. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like, subscribe. It's a combo package. You can't just like. You gotta, if you haven't subscribed, you gotta do both, man. Take the combo. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Nicola.Ann and on Twitter at NicolaAnn. All of the info will be in the description box as well. Alright guys, I'm gonna go. Until next time. Peace. No, no.